Well, things are looking all right. We were actually just up at the pass a little while ago, but we decided to come down to North Bend because those road condition conditions were getting trickier. Now, WashDOT says they have turned to snow packed and they are saying that track traction tires are required. And they're also saying chains for those really big, heavy 10,000 pounds and over vehicles. But right now we are in North Bend where that wind and rain has started to pick up. Here's a look at some of the driving conditions throughout the day. The start of December brought a wake up call for drivers crossing Snoqualmie Pass as snow began falling more heavily into the evening hours. Well, it was OK beginning like um, is a quad, but then it got snowy, reaching Snoqualmie, the Snoqualmie Pass North Bend. But it was OK, it was doable. It comes after a tough morning on I-90, closing at North Bend after spin outs. Some drivers were caught off guard by snow and ice. Others took it slow on purpose. Either way, it added time to commutes. Heading over this morning was kind of rough, 35 miles an hour uh, until we hit Ellensburg. It cleared up mid-afternoon, but steady snow is expected tonight. Now it's snowing. Just drive slow, take your time, you'll be good to go. WashDOT will adjust warnings throughout the winter based on conditions. But now is the time for everyone to put on traction tires, pack your chains, and stock your car with blankets and food in case you need it. And if you're near the pass tonight, Take it easy. Thick snow, um, this little nugget to burr, <laughs> and then, but it's gonna be cold. We're expecting cold and just, we're having a good time. By nightfall, WashDOT updated its pass report from traction tires advised to traction tires required. It also warned of compact snow and ice on roads and began requiring chains for vehicles over 10,000 pounds.